because most of us, you know, we end up sitting a lot, or maybe the newer generations are always on their phones, you end up having this common movement pattern or postural pattern. The biggest thing is what we call the, the cross syndrome. And this is, this is really simple to remember. So if we're looking at just the upper body, right, your head is normally a little bit more forward. Rarely are you kind of like this, unless you're you know, being a pompous and you're trying to you know, <laughs> impress people. But most of us kind of more relaxed here. What happens here? What's, what's going on with my neck? It's, it's a little bit stretched out in the front, right? But if it's stretched out in the front, what does it mean in the back? It's a little bit shortened up here. So where's a common area that feels good to massage and stretch out? Right in the back of the neck, right? So you can feel, if you put your thumb right at the base of your skull, right? Usually it feels pretty good. Now, if it's really tight, you have a, a nerve that goes with those muscles and you're gonna feel some zinging down, you know, half your head. But if you lie down and you just kind of massage and pull up right there, it feels pretty good. And that's because those muscles are always working to keep you here. Right? We need to stretch those out. And so if we're looking, talking about the cross syndrome, um, at the top, this part is, sh is shortened. This part is lengthened. Right? This part also, pulling forward. Now shoulders kind of hunched forward. And so those muscles, why does it feel good to massage here? Because they're always working. And so the simple treatment is just do everything that's opposite. Pull your shoulder blades back, elongate your head, tuck in that chin, right? And so when we call it a cross syndrome, it's, it's easier we can just, we, we're, from a physical therapist standpoint, we already know, all right, strengthen here, massage here, strengthen the low back, right, which pulls the shoulder blades back, and the pecs stretch, right? Basically do the opposite of what we're always doing out here, right? And that's gonna help with this. Okay. One thing I kind of glossed over when we look at the lines, when you raise your arm, we talked about earlier about how the tissues have the fold in the back. So this time, put one hand on your rib cage, and on the other arm, raise your arm all the way up. Do you feel your ribs moving? Right? It's nice if you're doing it on purpose. But what happens all the time is that we get so tight in our pecs that when I raise my arm, my, my ribs have to move up. And if I'm doing a lot of reaching up, I have to clean, clean something up top. You know, my wife's making me wash the windows, and then I'm, next thing I know, I have back pain. And that's because I'm reaching up all the time, and I'm moving, and I don't have shoulder mobility. Where am I gonna move from? Right? I'm gonna move from the back, and I'm just gonna do all this to reach up, and my back's gonna be hurting. So what's the treatment? <laughs> all right, well, at first, rest. Don't move the back. Stretch the pecs, stretch your shoulder so that you can move your shoulder without having to move your ribs, right? And that's gonna, again, you're moving along the line. So while the pain might be from coming from the back in this case, the problem might be from a lack of shoulder mobility, okay? The lower cross is kind of the, um, another example. In this case, it's someone with, the, if, you're, if, you're, if we call it anterior pelvic tilt, basically, you're kind of, we call um, your low back is kind of too arched. So if you're sitting a lot, your hip flexors get really tight. That's this muscle right here, right? So if you're walking around, it's someone with this kind of a stooped posture, kind of leaning forward a little bit. So just like this. And if I need to stand up, I kind of have to move them back again, right? So again, the treatment isn't just ice massage the back, it's get flexibility in the hip flexors that are too tight. And that's the only way you're going to fix this long term.